Hello everyone, this is Highlander from MTG Cardsmith doing another custom Magic the Gathering card review. And today we're reviewing a card by Arceus8523 for his set, Endgame Unleashed. And this is an Amonkhet themed set. Uh, I think this is the ninth card I've reviewed um, from the set. If you want to watch them all in order, uh, I have them all in the playlist, so please watch that. And here we've got a card called Crushing, Crushing Dominance. Looks like he's really crushing all these Planeswalkers. Uh, so this is a double X Grixis card, Sorcery. Choose X. You may choose each mode. You may only choose each mode once. You may choose each mode only once. Um, cool art, by the way. How, how are you getting a hold of this art? Let me know. Uh, is this specifically, like, are you actually... Um, commissioning art for your cards here or did you just happen to find a picture of nickel bolus like you know hurting all of these planeswalkers using their own magic or whatever um let me know let me know uh okay so okay so choose x exile target creature or planeswalker that's good gain control of target creature or planeswalker even better uh target player discards three cards Oh, yeah, that's really good. Crushing Dominance deals 5 damage to any target. Not as good as the others, but still strong. Destroy target non-creature permanent. Uh, probably the worst, but also relevant. Um, so, uh, okay, let's take a look. So at 5 mana, this is a 5 mana uh, mind control, basically. Uh, but it... Uh, well, it's better than a mind control. You get permanent control. It's not, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The, there's no enchantment. They can blow up. Um, but also the color requirements are higher. So I think that is reasonable. Um, that's at five mana. So I think 95% of the time, that's what this card is going to be. It's going to be five mana, gain, you know, take control of something. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe you'll end up, you know, if they're like some sort of control deck with not a lot of creatures, you might make them discard. Or you might, you know, if they're low on life, you might kill them with it. Uh, but overall, I think you're 95% of the time, you're just going to be gaining control of something. Because that's powerful. Now, at 7 mana, you can gain control and then do one of these other things. So at 7 mana, this card becomes pretty bonkers. Um, you gain control of a creature or planeswalker and you can kill another one. Or you can make them discard 3 cards, which is like crazy card advantage. Just bonkers card advantage. Um, yeah, so overall, I mean, this card's very strong. I I don't... I think this one should probably be a mythic just because, like, at five, it's it's quite good. Like, at five, it's, it's, it's very good. And at seven, it's just bonkers. I mean, I'm kind of kind of ignore the nines and the elevens because, like, yeah, I mean, so I guess sometimes those things will come up, but like, you know, if you're like really late in the game, I guess nine will come up sometimes. In which case, you'll most likely gain control, exile, and deal five because your opponent probably won't have a lot of cards in hand at that point. Um, in which case, you're again getting like crazy amount of card advantage, but. uh yeah, very powerful card. This one seems to me like a mythic, personally. Um, the only real issue I have with this is the destroy target non-creature permanent because all three of these... Col that's, that's really like a green thing, this particular effect. And yes, you could say, well, red destroys artifacts, which is true, but destroying a non-creature permanent... And lands, I should say. But destroying a non-creature permanent doesn't t really fit with these these colors. So, I mean, you know, destroying an artifact would be fine. Um, I don't know. You know, there's, you know, pick pick whatever pick whatever you want. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's really my main issue with this card is that that's sort of more of a green ability. Um, and yeah, I mean this. I, I, I th <clears throat> it's interesting because you've kind of got like a white and, and I'm sure this is intentional. You've got a white, a blue, a black, a red, and a green effect, right? And blah, blah, blah. But you know, you see right here, white, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, but with the casting, co the, the, with the colors that you're casting this for, I, I just does, don't think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and really the only one that doesn't fit is destroying a non-creature permanent. Because you could attribute exiling something to black, certainly. A creature or planeswalker. Um, but destroying a non-creature permanent it does not fit, I don't think. So that's really my main issue with this card. But it's very powerful. I think it should probably be a mythic. Um, this seems like a card that could see standard play. You know, you some kind of like a big mana deck where you just... You know, it's kind of like kind of like your... Um, you know, your ultimatums where you just get like a bonker. It's just like a big sorcery that gives you like crazy card advantage. Uh, so I like the card overall. I think my main two issues are the rarity and the destroy target non-creature permanent. So for those reasons, I'm going to give this one a... Seven, seven, I want to give it a seven. I think I should probably give it a six for the issues mentioned, but... Overall, I like the card. I mean, it seems like a fun card to play with, that's for sure. Um, when this happens to you, you're going to be looking like Liliano over here and just wailing and gnashing your teeth. So, um, so yeah, uh, 6 out of 10 for Crushing Dominance, but I think with those issues fixed, this would probably be a 7 or even an 8 out of 10. So, uh, yeah, like the card overall. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.